What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Cooped Up is in the House. Today, my mom's gonna show you her her Mother's Day present. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> yes, thank you, Teddy, for that awesome introduction. As he said, I'm gonna show you guys my Mother's Day present, um, which. I told my husband I didn't want flowers or candy or all the usual stuff. Um, I really wanted to run for our chicken coop. So he ordered me a dog kennel kit that we turned into a chicken run. And we worked hard all weekend on it and I'd like to show it to you. So here it is. Our brand new dog kennel turned into chicken run. I'm very excited about this. And we took the yellow and orange big coop and connected it to the run and now you can see it comes with these nice metal panels but we added hardware cloth and chicken wire to of course keep the predators out and that's what's important about a run a run is like um, an extra amount of space a room that chickens can run around in and so it's got a padlock here open up the gate I'm gonna put a lockable latch on a lock on the latch there um, so if we ever leave for a long amount of time we'll know that they are safely enclosed but there's bricks all the way around the hardware cloth is buried at least six inches into the ground all the way around because I don't want the foxes coyotes and raccoons that we have around here to dig in and get them and I like using these cinder blocks because I'm going to plant flowers and other climbing vines next to the run so they'll grow this summer and it'll be pretty and provide some shade and food for the chickens to nibble on but you can see it also has a cover nice tarp Keep them dry when it rains. Hopefully keep the snow off in the winter. But right here is the little chicken door that they will go through when I open it up so that they can come out of their coop during the day and be in the run when we are gone. Um, this is the first fully enclosed run that we've had here on our property because I like to free range the birds as much as possible and that is how we've always kept our previous flocks. There's Cherry saying hello. She heard me talking and decided to come investigate. But so I think free ranging is best but just because the amount of predators we have out here on our property has grown. Um, I decided I really wanted to run for when they are not supervised so that they still have space to play and explore and dig in the dirt um, but they'll also be safe um, especially winter time they don't like wandering through the snow anyway so having a run allows them more space than just a tiny little coop yeah so I'm really excited about this chicken run and I really hope the ladies will enjoy living in it. Right now, they are just about 10 weeks old. So they are living in the coop, but I have not let them out yet into the run because you want to get the birds acclimated to their roosts so that they remember, you know, every night, this is where I sleep. This is where I eat. I want to come back to this place. And so they feel the coop is a nice, safe place for them and that's why it's best to keep them in for a few days but it's kind of a gray dreary day today when the next sunny day we get i think it'll be time to uh finish decking out the run and letting them out and seeing them explore so i hope you all are safe and happy and enjoying these chicken videos and i enjoy creating them and spending time with my ladies can't wait to see how much they like the run. I know I love it. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.